Hello. Hi. Hello. In Poland, tell me what convinced you to take part in this in this journey. Oh well, Lech, one hundred percent based on my uh, understanding of who I thought Lech was, and uh, what I thought he could achieve as a filmmaker. Um, usually, when it, when you when you do a film, when I pick a film, it's uh, based on the script and based on the director, and you sort of try to figure out whether or not the director is the right person for the material, and whether or not the film is going to be, you know, well executed, and if you like the script. But with this, it wasn't really about the script. It was 100% uh, my interest in Lech achieving this sort of um, unique and uh, personal. Uh, film that he was setting out to do and it was because I just believed in him I, there's something about him that just is very persuasive and he's very mischievous and there's something uh, he's hyper intelligent and and he's an artist and so, I like to work with artists so now I understand because I saw this movie twice yeah because the first one it was like I have to watch it again to understand it oh, yeah. and I was thinking like when you saw it on the pages did you know what this movie is about, what the vision is, or he had to explain everything? Well, I had an idea, you know, but I didn't know entirely. And I still don't think I know entirely. I don't know if Lech could explain entirely what it's about. For him, it's an emotional experience. And that's, and that, and I think it's nice that it resonates different in a different way for different people, you know? Well, was it easy to shoot in those areas? Because it's, it's a Monument Valley, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's, Monument Valley, we were in Monument Valley and in Valley of the Gods. Was it uh, easy to shoot there? It was beautiful. It was hot. <laughs> if you like hot weather, hot, dry weather, that's that. You, then you love it. Yeah. Yeah, because there is not much time that you can actually spend there during to receive the good uh, sunlight, as I remember. I was there right. only once when I was uh, on, on college tour with right. a car. So right, right, I know right. that there are only few hours that you actually can go there to receive everything that you want in the in the spectrum of the camera. Right, what, yeah. Did they rush you? Like, we have to give it, we have to have it on point to, to receive what we want. Right now, yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a very demanding shoot. Like, um, Lech is a demanding director. He wants what he wants. And and I, I respect that because I, because he has a he has a sense of, of what it is that he's trying to achieve. And, um, and then, I think ultimately, once he's got something in front of him, from what I can tell, he sort of reimagines what it is that he, well, because he's, he's working with materials now, right? As opposed to before it's in his head, uh, now he's working with, after he's shot it, he's working with the actual raw materials and he can decide how they fit together in such a way that will be most evocative. So I, I don't know, um, hmm, I don't know if on the day, we give we gave Lech everything that he wanted, but I think everything was geared in that direction, and I think he utilized what was actually given to him. So, what was the hardest thing that he wanted from you to achieve on the, on the screen? I mean, he, there were some physical things that I had to do that were a little unusual. Uh, climbing up the side of a mountain with pots attached to my leg with no uh, safety net, no harness. Uh, that was not um, that was in the script, but I didn't think they would have me do it. Uh, and uh, that was on the last day of filming, as I think Philip just said in the press conference. Uh, so they didn't care whether or not I survived, but I did. So I, 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 I beat them. I had the last laugh. And, um, and yeah, I mean, the, as far as the character went, the most demanding thing was to be able to try to decipher what it is that Lech was going for without him being explicit. Lech was never, uh, he didn't, when I would ask him questions, he wouldn't give me direct answers. So it was more an emotional reaction to the work that I'm doing and sometimes he would say that the work that I just did was perfect and I didn't know why you know like he loved something about it but he wouldn't explain what it was so it was um, it was a new experience for me because it was less about um, verbal collaboration and more about just trying things for him that well, actually you are shaping the character not the script or the director if I understand no correctly. no I think I, I think he was I think it's his film and um, and and he was manipulating the process in such a way that it was kind of uh, that that he was getting what he needed from from me for the character, but it wasn't uh, an explicit conversation. 
you know, not like, okay, if the character does A, B, then we have to go to C. It was not linear in, in any sense. It was, uh, it was more amorphous and more emotional. What this movie is about for you when you saw it? Because everybody very, can, can define yeah. it in a different way. Yeah, it's very hard for me to define at this point because I only saw it for the first time today. And it's different from what I expected in a certain sense. Uh, but it's, from, from my personal standpoint, the character was um, more in a receiving mode than I remember playing him. Um, the character was very active in the playing. Uh, and so what I think Lech took was a lot of sort of restful moments and sort of put them together. Because I think, you know, in, 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 and so I'm talking more about the character because yeah. that's the only thing I can really comprehend at this of point. Course. I can't quite get my head around the entire picture because I just saw it and there's a lot to unpack. Um, I find that he's, Lech sort of used me as a surrogate for himself. And I think Lech spends a lot of time sort of receiving information and figuring out how to process it. And uh, so my character is much more inert than I expected him to be. Um, but that's interesting. It's interesting to see that uh, and to see how it fits into his broader landscape. And for the long time, you actually enjoyed the artistic cinema. Mm -hmm. We can see you in some off movies. What is so compelling in those projects? Uh, they're unexpected. Uh, the, uh, when I go see, the latest blockbuster, I pretty much know what to expect every time. There's very few that um, that surprise me. And because story-wise, I think right now we have off cinema, for example, yeah. or the TV that actually can yeah. bring a story and spread it for a long, longer period of time. Yes. And uh, what are you looking for in the projects when somebody is bringing you a script? What what it has to what the story has to have to to hook you in? Uh. That's a tough question. Uh, usually it's the element of surprise, something new, something I haven't done or something that I find to be, uh, uh, that I haven't, uh, something that I haven't seen on, on, on screen recently. Um, but I also uh, am starting to be a little bit more clever about the way that I pursue projects and it's very much a director's medium. Uh, so I, it's, I'm trying to work with directors who I admire. Now, as more than ever, I'm focused on what the director has to offer and what they've done in the past. And uh, you said that you're choosing the roles that you didn't do before, but with your resume, it's like a very hard thing to do to find a story that is uh, something has something fresh, something new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are. I mean, this film, the the experience of making this film was so unlike any other film I've ever done uh, that that it was naturally just going to be different. Um, and then I, I did a film that was about the opiate crisis in, uh, in, in Appalachia in the States. And that film was, the, the reason that I was so attracted to that was there were lots of scripts going around about the opiate crisis, but they were all done by Americans. This script was being taken on by a Swiss director and a Swiss producer. And they were looking at Americana from an outside perspective and their whole, their whole viewpoint of what was happening was totally different. And I, I respected that because it does, it's nice to be able to see an issue that we've all been sort of you know, turning over repeatedly uh, um, in, in, in our country, sort of uh, dissected from a different perspectives. So I was really excited to be a part of that. And that film turned out to be very poetic, I think. It's a small story. But it speaks to a broader problem in a, in a way that I don't think anybody else would have been able to direct, to direct it in the States. Um, and then I did a movie about, um, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more classic film, I guess, but it's a really, really well done film about uh, a guy who, a, a journalist who uh, uncovers this conspiracy, this vast conspiracy uh, between the DEA and the RCMP in, in Canada to put people who are just minor drug offenders in jail for life um, and call them drug lords and then like these great importers of drugs because there was this huge quota in the 80s uh, that people had to sustain in, in law enforcement um, to uh, catch drug criminals because there was the war on, the, war on drugs, if you remember correctly. So, 
And where are you working right now? Mm. I am. What, am I working right now? Yeah. What are you? I'm shooting. Yeah. A, I'm yeah. just about to go shoot a Guy Ritchie film. All right. Yeah. So something lighter. Totally different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I love Guy. I mean, like his his films are so signature. You know, they're okay. totally different than than Lex work or different from the work that I've been doing. But they're 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 more action oriented. They're more they're they're more comedic. They're but they're they're his. You know, and no he's one else. A, to... the, his, his own style. That's yeah. When you see one of the movies, even if you don't know who you're directing, you yeah, know it's his. And this is very much like in the in the in the vein of a Lock, Stock, or Two Smoking Barrels, or a Snatch, or the one that he has coming out right now called uh, The Gentleman. I think it's called. And oh. this this film that we're doing is called Cash Truck. Right now, we'll we'll see if that title sticks. But it's a it's a really it's a it's a yeah it's a fun fun film about right. a heist. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.